नमस्कार टुडे विल स्टडी की टू थियोसफी अगेन एंड बिफोर दैट जस्ट अ फ्यू वर्ड्स व्हाट वी रेड ऑन लास्ट अकेजन व्हाट इज थियोसफी मैडम ब्लावस्की टोल्ड अस इट इज divine wisdom she told divine wisdom and further she mentioned that this is many thousand years old because we know uh, from our ancient sources like upanishad veda and gita that uh, atma vidya brahma vidya and this modern term theosophy is the same thing then uh, how this uh, name uh, came into picture she explained that he is one gentleman uh, who is a alexandrian philosopher you know the alexandrian is a uh, uh, is a uh, um, place alexandria uh, situated as uh, now in uh, uh, egypt because alexander conquered that uh, town so he changed that place and it is known as uh, uh, alexandria and uh, the philosopher uh, of that period it is around 300 bc known as ammonius sakas uh, was a very uh, uh, famous as a lover of truth he from eclectic theosophical system uh, so we will uh, continue our study and uh, uh, discussion if you come to your mind you can ponder over it the question is what was the object of this system means eclectic theosophical system what what was the object the answer given by uh, blavatsky first of all to inculcate certain great moral truths upon its disciples means followers of Am- ammonius sakas and all those who were lovers of truth hence also the motto of our present theosophical society is there is no religion higher than truth the chief aim of the founders of the eclectic theosophical school was one of the three objects of its modern successor the theosophical society namely to reconcile all religions sects and nations under a common system of ethics based on eternal varieties so uh, this uh, theosophical society now expanded uh, all over the world uh, many members have joined the theosophical society with a one common um, object the first object to form nucleus of universal brotherhood without distinction of caste sex creed color so anyone <coughs> who uh, have uh, interest to join theosophical society they should know the what is the objects then the further question is by the emperor what have you to show means a questioner asked blavatsky what have you to show that this is not an impossible dream and that all the world's religions are based on the one and the same truth means questioner was doubt that it is a impossible dream so questioner asked blavatsky that uh, how you can prove that uh, this is uh, possible negatively he asked not an impossible dream so blavatsky 
within a single answer, single sentence answer. By the comparative study and analysis, every religion have number of objects. They have their own text, uh, whether it is Buddhism, Sikhism, Zoroastrianism. We have seven great religions. If you compare, have if you have comparative study, you will find that mm, the essence is the truth. Then a questioner asks, in the days of Amanas, there were several great ancient religions and the sects in the Egypt and Palestine alone were numerous. How could he reconcile them? How the Amonius Sakas reconcile and form this uh, eclectic theosophical system? Answer, by doing that, which you again try to do now, means Amanas Sakas have done at that time in 300 BC. Now, the present movement started by uh, Blavatsky and Henry Stiller or Cott. So they are trying to do the same thing now. We can show the line of descent of every Christian religion as of every, even the smallest sect. The latter are the minor twigs or shoots grown on the larger branches. Any big tree, they have many branches in our adder. Uh, there is a big banyan tree, many ships going on, many shoots, branches going on different parts. But shoots and branches spring from the same trunk, the wisdom religion, that is the aim, that is the main. <coughs> to prove this was the aim of Ammonius, the founder of uh, eclectic theosophical system who endeavor to induce gentles and Christians, Jews, idolaters to lay aside their contentions and strifes, remembering only that they were all in possession of the same truth under various vestments and were all the children of a common mother. This is the aim of theosophy likewise. So, what is the ultimate aim of theosophy or theosophical society is at that time the same thing now also uh, to lay aside their contentions, strives in between uh, different religion, different sects, remembering only they were all in possession of the same truth under various vestments and we all are the children of a common mother. This is the aim of theosophy like which. Thank you for watching this small video.